Okay, I get a lot of questions on the 8273 split or the split sleeper provision. So I wanna kind of break it down a little for you to make it a little easier to understand. As you guys know, a couple years ago, they came out with 8273 split in order to pause our clock. Now, in order to pause your clock, that's any period more than two hours, but less than seven. Okay, now that's very important that you remember, more than two, less than seven. And that time period can be off-duty, sleeper birth, or any combination of off-duty and sleeper birth. So what that does is that extends your day. To give you an example, I started my day at midnight, my normal clock would end at 2 p.m. Well, I was at a shipper for four hours, and I assigned that time to split break. So now instead of my time being done at four or at 2 p.m., now my time is done at 6 p.m. So I have plenty of time to go down the street and find some safe parking or maybe get a couple hundred miles down the road if I can. Now the long portion of the break, that's the period more than seven hours. This is the time that actually resets your 14 hour clock. Now this must be in the sleeper berth. Remember your short period and your long period must add up to a minimum of 10 hours. Short period is off duty or sleeper berth. Long period is sleeper birth only. Now, short period just pauses the clock. I cannot stress that enough. We get so many guys that get confused, well, I didn't get time back. Well, no, you didn't, not if you pause the clock. You only get time back if you take your long period, that's seven hours or more, then that gives you your time back that you didn't have from before. If you have any questions, come see us in the safety department. We'll gladly walk it over with you. Thanks again. Have a nice day.